So apparently a lot of you men, not all of you, a lot of you non-provided men have an issue, you got your panties in a bunch, because I talk about how men, if you're a Christian and you're married, how are you supposed to provide for your family? And you're like, where do you see that? Or that's just where women be saying because they're lazy. And like, what? Like, okay, so I'm, I'm just going to let the Bible verse speak for itself. And then we're going to further go into some of the idiotic comments that I've seen. I don't respond to people personally because I just delete it. Like, because there's no space. I'm too old for ignorance, okay? So, if you are not in place to be a provider, then that comment or this video is going to insult you. It, you're going to feel some type of ways. Almost like how you all see the whole logic about when there's... A big girl argument and then literally everybody who's big get offensive because they're talking about them or they're talking about the light skin dark skin thing and then so everybody who is dark skin get takes offense you see what I'm saying so whenever something strikes that person personally you know doesn't mean that it's not their truth it's just that it's bothering it's triggering something in you because you do not meet the standard of that person like for example when somebody say that i don't like big girls or whatever then big girls get mad not because of their their um perspective not because of their their right to pick somebody that's not big it's just the fact that they don't fit that description you know what i'm saying so the men that be on here butthurt about the providing things because you probably don't fit the, the subscription. But let's read this Bible verse, though. Let's, let's just go ahead and read it real quick. This is 1 Timothy um, chapter 5, verses 8 and 9, okay? 8. Um, certainly, if anyone does not provide for those who are in his own, and especially for those who are members of his household he has disowned the faith and is worse than a person without faith so if the verse what it's saying to me is that you are obligated you are obligated as a man to take care of your family to take care of your family and a person that does not do that is worse than a person without faith do you know how powerful that is that you are worse than a person without faith. Now let's jump into this other comments people be saying. Most of the dudes are saying, most men can't make 100K. No one's saying you have to make 100K. Everybody's putting these words in my mouth like, oh, the average man make 40,000. Well, then you provide with your 40,000. The average man make 80,000. Then you provide with your 80,000. No one's saying you have to make 100K. See, that's your perception. You're trying to project your thoughts onto me i haven't i didn't say nothing about the miracle figure when i made that figure when i made that video i had said nothing about a numerical figure you all decided well i don't make a 100 case so i'm going to argue back with that and say that no one said that i said you have to provide you find a wife that is comfortable with the level of of resources you have to provide if you have a wife that's cool with you making 55k, then you provide for that wife that's cool for you with making 55k. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's always some type of argument and it's made up because I never said anything about you having to be a billionaire or making 100k, 200k. That's something y'all put on y'all. You know what I'm saying? Then, then the argument is like, well, women wants this, women want the luxury life. And so, well, you're picking the wrong type of women. And don't tell me these type of women, the ones that are uh, content with simple living, don't exist because you're looking at one right now. And there are plenty of them like me out here. The problem is society and social media perpetuates and put on a pedestal a more toxic mindset to make y'all think that all women think this way. It's almost like a lot of men take care of their kids, but if you look at social media, it looks like all black men take care of their kids. But in reality, they do. So the same way you all don't like being pinned as deadbeat, broke fathers, don't pin all black women as women who just want these yachts and blah, blah, blah. That's your history with women. That's the type of women you're choosing. 
okay? Because there are women out here who are content with the simple, happy parts, the things that money can't buy, okay? So you all are projecting. And it's cool because, again, it's going to put... The, the the man that's not following God's standards in an uproar. Y'all going to be having your panties in a bunch or whatever. And the fact that you are already wearing panties is the indication that... Like, anyway, so I don't expect y'all to get it. I know the real men out here get what I'm talking about. The real men know that I'm not saying you don't have to be a millionaire. It's just that it's your responsibility. If you take on a woman as your wife, you're taking her from her family, from her father. That's why you normally... Get the, you know, get the father and ask him to, um, for his blessing to take his daughter. You're taking her from her family and you are now saying, I can care for this woman through sickness and health, the death of you part. And you cannot tell me that you heard that I said, I'm going to take care of this woman through sicknesses, through health, death of you part with a million dollars. Like, if that's the type of woman you're looking for, then go get your money, bro, and then go pursue her, okay? See, a lot of y'all, sometimes y'all be wanting to get this bad B-word aesthetic. Like, y'all want this woman that to look a certain way, like, bust down long nails and stuff, but that costs money, okay? You can't be running around here trying to catch a bill and then complain about how much the bill is. So, if you want that type of woman, then yes, you're going to need some money, okay? You're going to need, you know, she's a bill. But if you're dealing with somebody like me, I'm trying to, baby, how are we going to cut this? How are we going to, we spend 50000 this year. How are we going to make it to forty next year? Everybody's different, okay? So, I just had to get on here and say that because y'all crack me up. Like, y'all be so sassy. That is sassy. But it's okay, though, because, like, we're here to learn and grow. And then for those who don't want to, then you know what to do.